Daniel Bernoulli, who is a Swiss mathematician and physician, is the person who invented Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's theorem. It is basically interaction between the pressure acting at a point on the surface of the liquid and the velocity of its particles. Bernoulli's principle stated that when the velocity of a fluid increases, the pressure in the liquid decreases, and vice versa. Now, we will show you some of the simple experiments that are related to principle Bernoulli's and we will explain to you how it works. The 10 paper experiment. When the air is blown through the straw, the velocity of air inside the tan is moving fast. According to the Bernoulli's principle, the higher the velocity, the lower the pressure. Therefore, the air outside has higher pressure and low velocity. Thus, the higher pressure outside pushes the paper downwards and causes the paper to collapse. At this part of the video, we will show you how Bonoli's principle is applied on a racing car. And Formula 1 car has specific sections of aerodynamics on the body that helps maintain a downforce on the car at a higher speed. These aerodynamic sections will help the car to stay on track. These sections include spoilers or canets at the front, side skirts and side ducts at the middle, and spoiler at the rear end. Cars will have spoilers either on the front or at the back. The sloped front end and rear spoilers are specially designed with an intended design function to spoil unfavorable air movement across the body of a vehicle in motion, usually described as turbulence or drag. The largest impact a spoiler has on a vehicle is improving traction. The spoiler creates a better airflow around and over the car and creates a downforce, increasing the vehicle's grip on the road. With the added traction, it becomes easier to control the vehicle without needing to add any extra weight to the vehicle. Spoilers on the front of a Formula 1 car are often called as air dams because in addition to directing the airflow, they also reduce the amount of air flowing underneath the vehicle, which generally reduces aerodynamic lift and drag. Now, let's move on to our final experiment that will be covered in our review of the application of Bernoulli's principle in daily life, the floating ping pong ball experiment. The theory that relates to Bernoulli's principle here is when he discovered that in moving air, faster air flows over the surface of something, the less the air pushes on that surface. What does this mean? It means that the air pressure on the object is lower than average. The fast air moving that's being blown around the sides of the ball, as shown in the diagram, is at a lower pressure than the surrounding stationary air. The ball, upon closer glance, is seen to be wobbling while it is levitating in mid-air. This is because the ball is attempting to leave the area of low pressure. However, the higher air pressure surrounding it forces it back into the low pressure area. Now, let's take a look at the diagram fully labeled with the explanation. As you can see, where the black arrows are moving about, it is showing the high pressure movement of the air. And the three triple pink arrows show the low pressure movement of the air and the airflow, and how the ball is stuck in the airflow. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching, watching us. Stay tuned for more. Thank you. Now, let's move on to our final experiment. That